so today today we are going to study the psychrometric chart and its processes in previous lecture we have seen different psychrometric properties and psychrometric terms terminologies related to the psychrometric and also we have seen the different relations among these uh, properties and the terminal uh, different terms so let us start today's lecture so the objective of this lecture is after completion students will be able to explain and identify psychrometric processes read a psychrometric chart and identify different parts of the chart determine moisture properties use chart to analyze processes involving moisture now the different parts of psychrometric charts are shown in the figure attached here with so let us see this this is the psychrometric chart you see here so if you see carefully here on the x axis you will see there is a just one second so this is a dry bulb temperature on the x axis okay and if you see here so these dry bulb lines are the exactly vertical lines if you see here minus 30 minus 25 minus 20 so these are the vertical lines so that is the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature if you see here so these are the lines of wet bulb temperature which is these in inclined lines okay i hope you are visible these inclined lines so these are the lines for wet bulb okay now on the y axis here you will see the dew point temperature lines okay so that is minus 10 minus 5 0 5 so horizontal lines indicates the dew point temperature and here you will see saturation temperature okay on this inclined line and below above this this is a enthalpy in kilojoule per kilogram of dry air okay again if you will see here there are curve lines like this in this manner so here this is a relative humidity in percentage 10 percent 20 percent okay 30 percent 40 percent like this so these are the different parts of this particular psychrometric chart now let us consider if you want to find out different properties when the dry bulb temperature is given and suppose relative humidity is given to you and we have to find out the different properties related to that so how to find out this so for example let us consider the dry bulb temperature is given 25 degrees celsius and for example relative humidity is given 40 percent okay let us consider this is the 40 percent relative humidity that is given so what we have to do from this 25 dry bulb temperature we have to draw a straight vertical line like this okay this is already available here and this is the 40 percent relative humidity line so where these lines intersect to each other that is your point okay that is important point here you will see so related to this point we can calculate the different properties such as here <coughs> let us consider we want to find out the dew point temperature so then what we have to do we have to draw a horizontal line which will intersect y axis at this point and you will get here around uh, 10 or 11 of dew point temperature now how to calculate the saturation temperature here so from this here we have to draw a inclined line like this so it will intersect here so it is approximately 17 or 16.5 degree celsius is the saturation temperature and if you extend this particular line beyond this then you will get here the enthalpy that is it, it is 40 41 42 43 44 45 or this is approximately 46 okay again you can calculate the humidity ratio also so here <coughs> if you see here so this line also intersect here at this particular point and this is the humidity ratio so this also you can calculate and this is around um, here in this case 7.898 or 7.88 okay like this 
so these are the different properties we can calculate with the help of this psychometric chart okay so i hope you understand this now let us move towards the next that is psychometric processes so this we will see in next lecture